Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and today I've been asked to match each point to its coordinate pair. Match each point, so these little dots on the graph are points, to its coordinate pair. On the right here we have coordinate pairs, and that's how we write about the address of a point or where it's located in space. Those are known as coordinate pairs, and that's how we mathematically talk about a point's location. Okay, so you should know that when you look at a coordinate pair, um, you they will always be in parentheses. They will have two numbers, at least when we're on the XY plane, we'll have two numbers. And you might say, oh my gosh, what other planes are there? Later as you go into math, you'll learn about three um, 3D space where we have an X, a Y, and a Z coordinate. It gets weird, but don't worry, it's not on the GED. So just an X and a Y. Um, so my first coordinate will be my X coordinate. And remember that your X uh, lines up with your horizontal movement on a graph. So if, I've, am I ma if I'm making an X move movement, I'm either moving uh, left or right. <clears throat> and then the second number inside your coordinate pair is your Y coordinate. It tells you about your up-down movement, your vertical movement. Okay, so with a Y, a number on Y, I'm either being told to move up or down. Now, so you might say, how do I know if it's left or right? How do I know if it's up or down? Well, um, the X axis is just a number line. And just like always, as you go off on the right of your number line, your numbers get bigger and bigger. This is the positive side here. And then you can see as I go off to the left on this number line, we get smaller and smaller. So my negatives go off to the left. Similarly, if I look at this vertical number line that Y is made of, Y is just a vertical number line, you can see that as I go up here, my numbers are getting bigger and bigger, more and more positive. So up is a positive direction. And similarly, as I go down from the origin, the center, the origin, as I go down from there, my numbers are getting more and more negative. So down is a negative direction. Great. Now, um, there's a reason why this center point here, mathematicians refer to this as origins, as, as the origin. As I go to graph these points, I'm going to originate. I'm going to start right here at the origin. Okay, so let's look at point one. Point one says, go four, and look, this is an X coordinate. The first coordinate is always X. So I'm saying going positive four in a horizontal direction. So I'm going to come across here and go positive one, two, three, four in the horizontal direction. And notice there's a zero here for the vertical direction. So it's saying don't move up or down. So I won't move up or down and there's my point. So one is point B. Great. Again, we're going to come back and start at the origin. So this time my uh, horizontal movement is a negative three. So I'm going to start off by going negative on in the horizontal direction. I'm going to go left three. But careful, this one actually does have two movements to do. After going negative three, it says go positive four in the vertical direction. So I'm gonna go up four. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna do these two movements. And after those two movements, I would end up at point C. Those are the coordinates from for point C. Great, again, starting at the origin, this time I'll go four right and three down or four in the positive horizontal direction and three in the negative vertical direction. And so I would end up there at point A. Great, I'm gonna start going just a little bit faster. Negative four, three, so I'll go negative four in the horizontal direction, positive three in the vertical direction, I end up at point F. Okay, zero, four, so zero, four, this says make no horizontal movement only make a vertical movement of positive four. And so that's what I'll do. I'll just start at my origin and I'll only make a vertical movement of positive four. And so five is point D. Great, last one. Uh, you probably know which one it is, but we'll just confirm. It says go three uh, in the horizontal direction, one, two, three, and then negative four in your vert vertical direction, so down one, two, three, four. And that does put me at point E. Great, so my answers are, uh, B, C, A, F, D, E in that order. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'll, I'll be happy to clear them up.